power. Everyone wants it, but most don't even understand what it really is, let alone the laws it is governed by. You see, power isn't just about control or dominance. It's about understanding the rules of human behavior and using them to your advantage. Robert Greene's infamous book, The 48 Laws of Power, uncovers the secrets behind the power dynamics at play in all of our lives. These laws are so powerful that the book has been banned in many prisons for fear of malicious use. But what if you could learn these laws and use them for good, to achieve your goals and make a positive impact? Today we're not just revealing these laws, we're teaching you how to use them responsibly. Because in this high-stakes game of power, you're either someone who understands these laws or someone who is open to being manipulated by them. So, which one are you going to be? Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into the first law. Law 1. Never outshine the master. Here's the cold, hard truth. You could be a prodigy, a genius in your field, but if you outshine the person signing your paychecks, you're asking for trouble. This isn't about suppressing your talents. It's about strategic humility. Think about it. Your boss or mentor holds the keys to your advancement. If you make them look bad or incompetent, they could feel threatened for their position. But if you elevate them, you become their go-to person, their secret weapon. That's a position of power, even if it's behind the scenes. So the next time you're on the verge of outperforming your superior, pause, ask yourself, is this going to serve my long-term goals or is it a short-lived ego boost? Because in the grand scheme of things, your aim isn't just to shine, but to ascend. Law 2. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Friendship is a beautiful thing, but when it comes to power, it can be a double-edged sword. This may sound harsh, but it's rooted in a deep understanding of human nature. Your friends know you well, which can sometimes lead to jealousy or taking you for granted. In contrast, with enemies, the relationship is straightforward. You know where you both stand. This clarity can make enemies more reliable allies in certain situations. So how do you navigate this? First, be careful about the friends you bring into your inner circle of trust. Second, don't write off your enemies. Instead, find common ground where mutual benefit exists. Transforming an enemy into an ally not only neutralizes a threat, but also adds to your network of influence. Be strategic about your alliances. Trust is good, but blind trust is a liability. And sometimes, the person you least expect could be the one who helps you the most. Law 3. Conceal your intentions. Ever heard the saying, keep your cards close to your chest? That's what this law is all about. In a world where information is power, revealing your plans is like giving away your playbook to the opposing team. Now this doesn't mean you should become a vault of secrets. It means being strategic about what you share and with whom. Think of it like a game of poker. You don't win by showing everyone your hand. You win by keeping them guessing, by making moves they don't expect. The next time you're excited about a new project or a big life change, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, who really needs to know this right now? Because sometimes the element of surprise is your greatest ally. It keeps people intrigued and it keeps you in control of your narrative. Law 4. Always say less than necessary. Talk is cheap, but silence is golden, especially when it comes to power. Always say less than necessary is a law that many of us struggle with in an age of oversharing. But here's the deal. The more you say, the more material you give others to use against you. This isn't about becoming a mute or avoiding meaningful conversations. It's about the art of restraint. When you speak less, you not only maintain an air of mystery, but you also allow others to reveal more about themselves. And in the game of power, information is your most valuable currency. So when you're in a meeting or a social gathering and you feel the urge to fill the silence, hold back, let others take the floor, listen more than you speak, and you'll find that what you learn is often more valuable than what you could have said. Law 5. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Your reputation is your calling card in the world of power. Think of it as your invisible resume, one that precedes you wherever you go. Protecting your reputation isn't just sage advice. It's a non-negotiable rule for anyone serious about increasing their influence. In today's digital age, your reputation can be built or shattered in the blink of an eye, thanks to social media and online reviews. But here's the silver lining. You have the power to shape how the world sees you. First impressions matter, but lasting impressions are what solidify your reputation. 
Be consistent in your actions, reliable in your commitments, and above all, maintain a level of integrity that others can count on. And if you ever find your reputation under attack, address it head on. Ignoring it won't make it go away. It's your job to fix it. In essence, your reputation is the cornerstone of your power. Guard it as you would your most prized possession, because in the world of influence, it's invaluable. Law 6. Court attention at all costs. In a world where everyone is clamoring for the spotlight, the real power lies in knowing when and how to seize it. Courting attention at all costs isn't about being the loudest in the room, it's about being the most memorable when it counts by making an impact. Whether through your work, your style, or your ideas, aim to be the one people turn to when they're looking for solutions. But here's the nuance. The quality of attention you attract is crucial. Strive for respect, not just eyeballs. Be the person who adds genuine value, who brings something unique to the table. That way, you're not just capturing attention, you're commanding it. Choose your moments, step up, and make your presence felt. Law 7. Get others to do the work for you but always take the credit. Think of yourself as the head coach of a championship team. You're not on the field scoring goals or making tackles, but you're the strategist behind every win. This captures the spirit of this law. It's not a call to laziness, it's a strategy for effective leadership. Great coaches know they don't win games by doing all the work themselves. They win by assembling a team of top-tier talent, guiding them toward a common objective, and then stepping into the limelight to claim the trophy with them. The art lies in making each player's contribution part of your grand game plan. While you're delegating, keep your eye on the ball. A true coach knows every play, every strategy, and every potential outcome. So the next time you're staring down a big challenge, put on your coaching hat, assemble your squad, set the game plan, and when the final whistle blows, be ready to hoist that trophy high. Because in the arena of power, the one who orchestrates the win is often the one who becomes a legend. Law 8. Make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. Here's a power principle that turns conventional wisdom on its head. Instead of going to others, make them come to you. This isn't about being passive. It's about creating a magnetic pull. When you draw people to you, you're not just conserving energy, you're also establishing a position of strength. What's the bait? It could be your unique skills, invaluable resources, or an unbeatable offer. The key is to make it so compelling that people can't help but be drawn to you. And once they're on your turf, you set the rules. You control the narrative, the pace, and the outcome. It's your game, and they're playing by your terms. Resist the urge to chase people. Instead, position yourself in such a way that they come to you. Law 9. Win through your actions, never through argument. Arguments may win the battle of words, but actions win the war of perception. This is a principle that exposes the limited power of verbal persuasion compared to the undeniable impact of deeds. In any power dynamic, words are cheap. Anyone can make a claim, promise the moon, or debate endlessly. But actions, they speak volumes. They're your proof, your track record, and your most compelling argument. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're tempted to argue your point, take a step back. Instead of trying to convince others through debate, Show them through your actions. Deliver results that are so compelling, so undeniable, that your point becomes self-evident. Remember, in the realm of power, it's not the one who talks the most who gains the upper hand, it's the one who delivers. Law 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. Emotions and attitudes are contagious, and not all are worth catching. Be selective about the company you keep. Surrounding yourself with negativity doesn't just bring you down. It can also tarnish your reputation and hinder your progress. In the world of power, your network is your net worth. Aligning yourself with individuals who are perpetually unhappy or unlucky can be like tying an anchor to your own ambitions. It's not just about their energy impacts on you. It's about how they affect the perception others have of you by association. So be selective. Choose to associate with people who uplift you, who challenge you, and who contribute positively to your life. Law 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. Independence may be a virtue, but in the realm of power, dependency is a strategic asset. This is a principle that emphasizes the importance of making yourself indispensable. Think about it. If people can easily replace you, your leverage diminishes. But if you offer something unique, be it a skill, a resource, or a connection, people will have a vested interest in your success. 
you become a key player, a linchpin in the system. This isn't about fostering a sense of helplessness in others. It's about creating a dynamic where your contributions are so valuable that people want to keep you in the picture. As you navigate your path to power, focus on building a skill set, a knowledge base, or a network that makes you the go-to person. The more people rely on you, the more power you wield. Law 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Trust is a powerful currency, and this law teaches us how to invest it wisely. It's not about deceit, it's about calculated openness. In a world where skepticism often reigns, a well-timed act of honesty or generosity can be disarming. It can break down barriers, open doors, and shift the dynamics of power in your favor. But the key word here is selective. You're not laying all your cards on the table. You're revealing just enough to gain trust and create a sense of obligation. This is a nuanced strategy. It requires understanding your audience, knowing when to be open, and recognizing the value of reciprocity. When people feel you've been honest or generous with them, they're more likely to extend the same courtesy to you, often in ways that enhance your power and influence. Law 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. Altruism is rare, but self-interest is universal. Appealing to people's self-interest underscores the importance of aligning your needs with the interests of those you seek help from. In the power game, asking for favors can be a double-edged sword. If you try to appeal to someone's mercy, wanting them to feel sorry for you, you risk appearing weak. But if you can frame your request in a way that benefits them, you not only increase your chances of success, but you also establish a mutually beneficial relationship. This is the art of negotiation, not manipulation. Identify what the other party values, be it recognition, profit, or influence, and show them how helping you can help them achieve that. It's a win-win scenario that enhances your power and theirs. So the next time you need assistance, don't just ask for a favor, offer an opportunity. Make it clear what the other party stands to gain, and you'll find them much more likely to help. Law 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. Information is power, and this law is about gathering intelligence. It isn't advocating for espionage or deceit. Rather, it emphasizes the importance of being attuned to your environment and the people around you. In any power dynamic, the more you know, the better positioned you are to act. This means listening more than you speak, observing more than you show, and asking questions that reveal more than they seem to. The goal is to understand the motivations, strengths, and weaknesses of those around you. Not to manipulate, but to navigate the landscape more effectively. Being a spy in this context is about being a keen observer and a strategic communicator. It's about gathering the insights you need to make informed decisions and to anticipate the moves of others. Be friendly but vigilant, open but discerning, because in the game of power, the one who understands the game the best is often the one who wins. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. You must eliminate threats and leave no room for resurgence. This is about the importance of decisive action. While the term enemy may sound harsh, in the context of power dynamics, it refers to any force that poses a significant threat to your goals or well-being. This law isn't about promoting conflict or cruelty. It's about understanding that half measures often leave the door open for future problems. Whether it's a business competitor, a disruptive team member, or a recurring issue, the principle remains the same. Deal with it thoroughly and conclusively. The key here is not to underestimate the staying power of a persistent problem or rival. A threat that is only partially dealt with can come back stronger, smarter, and more determined. So, when you're faced with a significant challenge or opposition, remember this law. Take decisive action that leaves no room for doubt or comeback. Because in the world of power, a problem half solved is a problem that will return to haunt you. Law 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, but it also makes your power grow stronger. This is a law that taps into the psychology of scarcity and desire. When you're always available, you risk being taken for granted, but when you create a sense of absence, you become more valued. This isn't about playing hard to get, it's about managing your time and presence. Whether in a business setting, a social circle, or a personal relationship, your absence should be felt as much as your presence. It should create a vacuum that only you can fill, thereby increasing your influence and worth. The trick is to find the right balance. Too much absence and you risk becoming irrelevant. Too little and you lose the allure of scarcity. 
Law 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Predictability is the enemy of power. Cultivating an air of unpredictability creates an advantage of being enigmatic. When people can't pin you down, they can't prepare for you, and that gives you the upper hand. This doesn't mean you should be erratic or unreliable. Instead, be purposefully ambiguous. In business negotiations, social interactions, or even personal relationships, a well-timed curveball can shift the balance of power in your favor. It keeps people on their toes, unsure of what to expect next. And that uncertainty enhances your influence. The key is to be unpredictable in a way that serves your goals, not undermines them. Randomness for the sake of randomness is not the aim. It's calculated unpredictability that keeps you in a position of power. Law 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself. Isolation is dangerous. While it may be tempting to build walls and keep the world at arm's length, this law warns against the perils of cutting yourself off. In the realm of power, isolation doesn't make you strong. It makes you vulnerable. This law is a reminder that power is often derived from relationships, alliances, and networks. When you isolate yourself, you lose touch with the market, the trends, and the conversations that shape your world. You also miss out on opportunities for collaboration, innovation, and growth. It's natural to want to protect yourself, especially when stakes are high. But remember, fortresses can become prisons. Instead of isolating yourself, focus on building bridges. Engage with your community, collaborate with your peers, and keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening around you. Law 19. Know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. Judging the influence and temperament of those around you is crucial. A misstep in this area can lead to severe repercussions. This law emphasizes the importance of reading the room in various settings, business, social, or personal. People wield different levels of power and have varying sensitivities. Offending a highly influential individual can trigger a cascade of challenges that are hard to contain. Conversely, aligning yourself with key players can unlock opportunities you never imagined. Political savvy is just as important as any technical skill you might possess. The ability to read a room and understand its dynamics can make or break your success in any power game. Law 20. Do not commit to anyone. Commitment can be a double-edged sword. While it can lead to strong alliances, it can also tie you down, limiting your options and freedom. This law advises a level of detachment that allows you to maneuver more freely in the landscape of power. Different people and organizations offer various opportunities and risks. By not committing fully to any one party, you retain the ability to pivot, to take advantage of arising opportunities, and to sidestep potential pitfalls. This isn't a call to be disloyal or unreliable, but rather to maintain a level of independence that keeps your options open. Your ability to adapt and move freely within complex social, business, or political environments can be a significant asset. Before making any significant commitments, consider the long-term implications. What will you gain, and what might you lose? Flexibility often outweighs the benefits of rigid alliances. Law 21. Play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. Being underestimated can work to your advantage. When people think they've got you pegged, they're more likely to expose weaknesses you can capitalize on. This law teaches you to harness the power of surprise. Whether you're in a business meeting or a social gathering, appearing less savvy or informed than you are can give you an edge. This approach allows you to collect valuable information, assess your surroundings, and make your move when the moment is right. Maintaining this guise demands discipline and a deep understanding of human behavior. The aim isn't to deceive for its own sake, but to position yourself in a way that amplifies your influence. The next time you're underestimated, use that moment to gather insights that could be beneficial down the line. Law 22. Use the surrender tactic. Transform weakness into power. Conventional wisdom often tells us to fight until the end, but sometimes surrendering can be a more effective route to power. This law shows you how to turn apparent weakness into a position of strength. When you're up against overwhelming odds or find yourself in a losing situation, continuing to fight can deplete your resources and tarnish your reputation. Surrendering in this context isn't about giving up. It's about regrouping and redirecting your energy toward more favorable outcomes. This approach allows you to conserve resources, gain time, and even win the sympathy or support of others. It's about making a tactical retreat to set the stage for a future advance. It could be the counterintuitive move that sets you up for a bigger win down the road. 
Remember, in the realm of power, even a setback can be a setup for a comeback. Law 23. Concentrate your forces. Spreading yourself too thin dilutes your impact. This law emphasizes the importance of focus and the allocation of your resources to a singular, important goal. When you scatter your energy across multiple projects or objectives, you risk achieving mediocre results in all of them. Concentrating your forces allows you to pour all your effort, time, and resources into achieving something truly remarkable. This approach is not just about achieving one goal, it's about creating a ripple effect. Success in one area can give you the leverage and resources to succeed in others, creating momentum that can carry you forward in various aspects of life. A laser-focused approach can yield results that are not just good, but extraordinary. Law 24. Play the perfect courtier. Mastering the art of social dynamics can be as crucial as any skill in your toolkit. This law teaches you how to navigate complex social landscapes with grace, tact, and finesse. Being a courtier in this sense doesn't mean you're subservient or insincere. It means you understand the nuances of human interaction. You know when to speak, when to listen, and when to move the spotlight away from yourself to let others shine. This level of social acumen can open doors for you that no amount of brute force or raw talent can. It can build relationships that are mutually beneficial, where your understanding of social cues and norms makes you an invaluable asset. Law 25. Recreate yourself. Who you are today doesn't have to define who you'll be tomorrow. Take control of your own narrative and become the architect of your identity. In a world that loves to put people in boxes, the ability to redefine yourself is a form of power. It allows you to break free from societal expectations and limitations, giving you the freedom to pursue your true goals and desires. This isn't about being inauthentic or wearing a mask. It's about understanding that identity is fluid. You have the agency to choose who you want to be and how you want to be perceived. This level of self-determination can be liberating, opening up new avenues for personal and professional growth. So, if you ever feel stuck or pigeonholed, remember that you have the power to recreate yourself. Law 26. Keep your hands clean. Appearances matter, especially when it comes to questions of integrity and ethics. Always aim to maintain a clean reputation by skillfully navigating moral and ethical dilemmas. In any power dynamic, a tarnished reputation can be your downfall. Scandals, ethical lapses, or even the appearance of impropriety can quickly erode trust and credibility. The key is to be vigilant about how your actions and decisions are perceived by others. This doesn't mean you have to be a saint, but it does mean you need to be cautious and prudent. Make sure that if others are doing your dirty work, they can't trace it back to you. Your ability to maintain a clean image can often be as influential as your ability to get things done. Law 27. Create a cult-like following. Ever wonder how some people amass a following so loyal it's almost cult-like? It's not just charisma. They tap into people's deep-seated need to believe in something greater than themselves. People are naturally drawn to strong visions, compelling leaders, and grand narratives. You can leverage this by presenting a vision that's not just appealing, but also emotionally resonant. The more you can make people feel part of something larger, the more devoted they'll become. So, if you're looking to build a following, whether it's for a business, a cause, or even a personal brand, remember, people don't just follow you for what you offer. They follow you for what you stand for. Law 28. Interaction with boldness. Boldness isn't just a character trait, it's a way of living. When you act decisively and with confidence, you command attention and inspire trust. Hesitation and half-measures, on the other hand, can make you seem unsure and diminish your influence. Imagine launching a new venture or stepping into a leadership role. The bolder your entrance, the more impact you'll make. People are attracted to confidence. It's like a magnet that draws them in and makes them more likely to align with your vision. So the next time you're about to make a move, big or small, be bold and go all in. Law 29. Plan all the way to the end. Success isn't accidental. It's the result of meticulous planning and foresight. While it's tempting to focus on the immediate steps, this law urges you to think long term. What's your end game? How will you get there? By planning all the way to the end, you're not just preparing for success, you're also anticipating potential obstacles. This gives you the advantage of foresight, allowing you to navigate challenges with greater ease. Always make time to pause and plan, to consider the long-term implications and prepare for all possible outcomes. Law 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. 
Ever notice how the most successful people make their achievements look easy? That's by design, not accident. Making your accomplishments seem effortless adds an aura of mastery that elevates your status. When you reveal the struggle, the late nights, and the sweat, it humanizes you, yes, but it also makes you look like everyone else. The key is to maintain an air of effortlessness. This creates a sense of awe and adds a layer of mystique to your persona. But don't mistake this as an invitation to be lazy. The work still needs to be done and done well. The trick is in the presentation. Show the masterpiece, not the labor that went into it. Law 31. Control the options. Choice is an illusion, especially when you're the one controlling the options. This law teaches you the art of subtly guiding decisions, steering people toward outcomes that favor you, all while making them think they're in control. Imagine you're negotiating a deal. You present multiple options, all of which are acceptable to you but vary in appeal to the other party. They feel empowered by the choice, not realizing that every path leads to your desired outcome. You must understand human psychology. People need to feel like they're in control, and by giving them options, you satisfy this need while still guiding the outcome. Law 32. Play to people's fantasies. Reality has its limits, but fantasies are boundless. This law taps into the power of imagination and the allure of the unattainable. When you can offer a glimpse into a more exciting, more fulfilling world, people are naturally drawn to you. Think about the most iconic brands or influential people. They sell more than products or ideas. They sell dreams. Whether it's the promise of unparalleled success, unmatched beauty, or a life less ordinary, these visions captivate the public's imagination. But tread carefully. While playing to fantasies can make you incredibly compelling, over-promising and under-delivering can lead to a swift fall from grace. The key is to strike a balance between aspiration and attainability. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Everyone has a weakness, a gap in the castle wall. That chink in the armor is usually an insecurity, an uncontrollable emotion, or a secret. This law is about finding that weak point and understanding its power. It's not about exploitation, but about gaining a nuanced understanding of the people around you. Knowing someone's thumbscrew gives you an edge in negotiations, influence, and relationships. It allows you to communicate more effectively, to empathize, and to build trust. However, this is a tool to be used responsibly. Unethical use can lead to manipulation and betrayal, which are not only morally wrong, but can also destroy relationships and reputations. Law 34. Be royal in your own fashion. Confidence isn't just a feeling, it's a statement to the world. This law teaches you the importance of carrying yourself with a certain level of dignity and self-assurance, akin to royalty. When you act like a king, people start treating you like one. This isn't about arrogance or entitlement. It's about understanding your worth and not settling for less. When you project self-assurance and dignity, you set the tone for how others should interact with you. You attract respect, opportunities, and even loyalty. But remember, a king is not just confident. He's also just, fair, and wise. Your actions should reflect these qualities to maintain the respect and admiration of those around you. Law 35. Master the art of timing. Timing is everything. Whether you're launching a business, making a strategic move, or entering a relationship, the when can be as crucial as the what. You must develop a keen sense of timing, an invaluable skill in any power dynamic. Being too early can be as detrimental as being too late. The key is to understand the rhythms of your environment, the moods of the people around you, and the broader trends shaping your industry or field. When you can sync your actions with these elements, you increase your chances of success exponentially. But how do you master timing? It starts with observation and patience. Watch for patterns, listen to your intuition, and don't rush into decisions. Sometimes waiting for the right moment can yield better results than any amount of force or effort. Law 36. Disdain things you cannot have. Desire can be a double-edged sword. While it drives us to achieve, it can also lead to a sense of lack or even obsession. This law advises you to manage your desires carefully, especially when it comes to things you can't have. Ignoring what you can't attain does more than just save you from unnecessary stress. It also enhances your power. When you show disdain or indifference towards something out of your reach, you maintain your dignity and control. You send a message that you're above petty desires, which elevates your status in the eyes of others. It's not asking you to suppress your desires, but instead channel them wisely. Focus on what you can control and let go of the rest. 
In doing so, you not only preserve your emotional energy but also create a persona of unflappable composure. Law 37. Create compelling spectacles. Words are powerful but sometimes actions speak louder. This law is all about the impact of grand gestures and unforgettable displays. When you create a spectacle, you capture imaginations, stir emotions, and most importantly, you're remembered. Think about the most iconic moments in history or even in your industry. They're often not quiet, behind-the-scenes maneuvers, but bold, public displays. These spectacles don't just convey a message, they etch it into the public consciousness. However, a spectacle for spectacle's sake can backfire. It needs to be aligned with your goals, your brand, and the message you're trying to convey. Create a spectacle that resonates, that captivates and uplifts the spirits of everyone watching. Law 38. Think as you like, but behave like others. Individuality is valuable, but it can also make you a target. This law advises a delicate balance. Maintain your unique thoughts and perspectives, but be cautious about how openly you display them. In any social or professional setting, there are norms and expectations. Straying too far from these can make you stand out in ways that invite scrutiny or even animosity. The key is to understand your environment and adapt your behavior to fit in, even if your thoughts diverge. This isn't about compromising your integrity or being fake. It's about strategic conformity. By blending in outwardly, you buy yourself the freedom to be as unconventional as you like in your thoughts and actions, so long as they're not disruptive. Law 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Sometimes the status quo needs a shakeup. This law is about the calculated use of chaos and disruption to gain an advantage. When you stir the waters, you create a situation where people's usual defenses are down, making it easier for you to maneuver and achieve your objectives. For example, introducing a disruptive idea or technology can unsettle competitors and give you the upper hand. Similarly, a well-timed shakeup within an organization can break down teams and foster new collaborations. However, this is a high-risk strategy that requires careful planning and execution. Uncontrolled chaos can backfire, damaging your reputation and relationships. The key is to know when to stir the waters and when to let them settle. Law 40. Despise the free lunch. Freebies may seem enticing, but they often come with strings attached. This law advises you to be wary of anything that appears to be a free lunch. More often than not, these offers have hidden costs, be it in terms of obligations, expectations, or even your own independence. When you accept something for free, you're not just taking a gift. You're entering into an unspoken contract. This can place you in a position of indebtedness, which can be leveraged against you later on. It's a subtle form of power dynamics that can shift the balance in favor of the giver. Instead, aim for mutually beneficial exchanges. When both parties have skin in the game, the terms are clearer and the relationship is more balanced. This doesn't mean you should never accept gifts or favors, but be mindful of the implications. Law 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. Success can be a tough act to follow, especially when you're stepping into the shoes of someone who's achieved great things. This law advises caution when taking over a role or position previously held by a highly successful or beloved figure. The problem isn't just the inevitable comparisons, it's also the high expectations that come with the territory. Even if you perform well, you may still fall short in the eyes of those who are emotionally invested in your predecessor's legacy. Instead of trying to emulate or outdo the previous occupant, carve out your own path. Bring something new to the table, something that sets you apart and allows you to establish your own legacy. This will not only help you avoid unfavorable comparisons, but also give you the freedom to excel on your own terms. Law 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Leadership is a focal point of power, and this law highlights the impact of targeting that center. When you neutralize the leader, the group often loses its direction and cohesion, making it easier for you to achieve your objectives. This isn't necessarily about confrontation or aggression. It could be as simple as discrediting an opponent's argument, thereby weakening their influence. Or it could involve offering a more compelling vision that draws followers away from an established leader. However, this strategy comes with risks. Targeting a leader can galvanize their followers and turn you into a common enemy. It's crucial to assess the situation carefully and to execute your move with precision. Law 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Power isn't just about force or coercion. It's often more effective when it's invisible. 
This is the art of indirect influence, focusing on winning people's hearts and minds to gain their support. When people genuinely like and respect you, they're more likely to support your initiatives, defend you in your absence, and extend their loyalty. This form of power is not only more sustainable, but also less likely to generate resentment or resistance. Building this kind of influence takes time and genuine effort. It involves active listening, empathy, and the ability to connect on a human level. It also means being consistent in your actions and transparent in your intentions. Law 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. Mirroring is a powerful psychological tactic, and this law shows you how to use it to your advantage. By reflecting people's behavior, ideas, or even their emotional state, you can disarm them and gain an upper hand. When you mirror someone, you create a sense of familiarity and trust, which can be disarming. It can also serve to highlight their flaws or inconsistencies, which can be infuriating but effective. However, overuse can make you appear insincere or manipulative. The key is to understand the context and the person you're dealing with, and to apply the mirror effect subtly and selectively. Law 45. Preach the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Change is inevitable, but it's also unsettling for many. This law advises a balanced approach. Advocate for change, but do so in a way that doesn't overwhelm or alienate those you're trying to lead. Rapid sweeping changes can create resistance, even if the changes are for the better. People need time to adjust, to understand the implications, and to buy into your vision. By making incremental changes, you allow for this adjustment period, making it easier to bring people along on your journey. So, if you're in a position to enact change, whether in an organization or in your personal life, remember, the tortoise often wins the race, especially when it comes to implementing lasting, impactful change. Law 46. Never appear too perfect. Perfection may seem like an admirable goal, but it can also be a liability. This law warns against the dangers of appearing too flawless, too competent, or too good to be true. When you seem too perfect, you can inadvertently arouse envy, suspicion, or even animosity. It's human nature to root for the underdog and to be skeptical of those who seem to have it all. By showing some vulnerability or imperfection, you become more relatable and trustworthy. This doesn't mean you should deliberately make mistakes or lower your standards. It simply means you should be mindful of how you're perceived. Consider showing a bit of your human side. A small flaw or a moment of humility can go a long way in making you more likable and, ironically, more influential. In the nuanced game of power, sometimes showing your imperfections can be your greatest strength. Law 47. In victory, know when to stop. Success is exhilarating, but it can also be blinding. This law serves as a cautionary note to those who, intoxicated by victory, push too far and too fast. Knowing when to stop is as crucial as knowing when to act. Overreaching in the wake of a win can turn allies into enemies and invite unforeseen challenges. It can also dilute the impact of your victory, turning it into a cautionary tale rather than a triumph. The key is to set clear objectives and to be disciplined enough to stop when you've achieved them. This requires self-awareness and the ability to step back and assess the situation objectively, even when you're caught up in the momentum of success. So the next time you find yourself on the winning side, take a moment to evaluate your position. Have you achieved what you set out to do? If the answer is yes, it might be time to quit while you're ahead and plan your next move carefully. Law 48. Assume formlessness. Flexibility is the cornerstone of this law. In a world that's constantly changing, rigidity can be a death sentence. This law advises you to be adaptable, to assume a form that allows you to flow and change according to the situation. Being formless doesn't mean lacking direction or purpose. It means having the ability to adapt your strategies and tactics as circumstances require. Be unpredictable, keeping your opponents off balance while you remain in control. This is particularly relevant in today's fast-paced, ever-changing world. Whether it's technology, social dynamics, or global events, the only constant is change itself. The more adaptable you are, the better you'll navigate these shifting sands. So, as we wrap up our exploration of the 48 Laws of Power, remember, power is not just about following a set of rules. It's about understanding the principles behind them so you can adapt and thrive in any situation. And there we have it, a comprehensive dive into the 48 Laws of Power. These laws aren't just theories, they're practical tools you can use to navigate the real world, to achieve your goals, 
and to become the most powerful version of yourself. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These laws can be used for good or ill. The choice is yours. Will you use them to uplift others, to create positive change, to build a legacy? Or will you become yet another cautionary tale of power gone awry? The game of power is being played around you, whether you choose to participate or not. But now you're armed with the knowledge to play it well and to play it responsibly. So, what's your next move?